In this video, we're going to look at what I learned from interviewing a Betfair football trader who averages five figure profits per month and a high six figure profit per year. And that man was legendary football trader Sykov, who gave me some very, very unique insight. So in this video, uh, we're going to look at how he trades football the types of strategies he uses, how he gets his edge over the market. And remember, this is all in his own words. We're gonna, I'm going to tell you the lessons that were learned from the interview he did with me. Let's not hang around. Let's get into it. So the first lesson learned from my interview with Sykov uh, was that watching the match is key to being profitable when it comes to football trading. So in his own words, Sykov did reveal to me that his biggest edge is watching the live game. He does not follow pre-game or even in-game statistics. He simply follows the match live and then assesses the desire to score a goal showed by the players on the pitch. So this is definitely a notable lesson learned. It's a, it's a notable takeaway from the interview as many, many newbie football traders do get too hung up on statistics. Uh, I've noticed this. I've definitely noticed this. Those who have taken my course in ultimate football trading will know that I regularly say that pre-game stats only tell you so much, but the most important information is what you see happen with your own eyes on the pitch. If the stats are telling you one thing, but the action tells you something else, then you have to believe what you see. I mean, a simple example could be an underdog clearly outplaying the favorite despite all the pregame stats and everyone believing that the favorite is going to easily win. I mean, if you spot that, that's a great value opportunity. If you spot a game which everyone thinks is not going to have goals and the markets don't believe there's going to be goals, but it's quite lively, quite a high tempo, then you spotted some value there as well. I would probably go on to say it is like, 20% statistics, 80% what you see happening in the live game. The statistics are there to kind of give you an idea about what to expect, but you really need to just pay attention to what is happening live. You will do a lot better with your football trade in that way. And I did think it was very interesting that Sykov did mention that. For him, watching the match is the ultimate key. That is how he gets his biggest edge. Which leads us on to the second uh, takeaway from the interview that I did with him. The more strategies you have, the better. In Sykov's own words from the interview, he did say, it is clear that the more weapons you have, the stronger you will be. Now, this is a key takeaway because something else I've noticed when working with newbie football traders is that many of them just want to find one perfect strategy and then move on with that. Some might even say they want two, and then they just want to stick with that and not move on. But the reality is the more strategies you have, the better. Trade in football, I mean, there is no one size fits all method at all. There are so many different types of matchups. You have strong favorite against weak underdog. You have even matchups. You have a super strong favorite. You know, you have so many different situations that you really do need different strategies to be able to handle the different situations. So as said here, it is clear the more weapons you have, the stronger you will be. So definitely don't think you can just get one strategy and that is it. You need to work on having multiple methods. My advice is having as many as 10 different methods. Now, these aren't methods you're going to employ all day, every day, but having around 10 is a good number and it's good to have an arsenal of strategies to handle all the scenarios that any football match can throw up. And another thing I gathered from doing this interview with Sykov is that value can't be defined. Now, we all know that if you want to succeed in the long term with your betting, with trading, then you need to be finding value. You need to be finding good value entry points if it's trading. You need to be finding good value bets if it is just betting, yeah? So what Sykov said in his words was, seeing value is a feeling, and feeling the value depends on the number of matches you have watched before. So we asked Sykov, you know, how do you actually work out the value? And a lot of people might assume that maybe he has some fancy spreadsheet, maybe he's got some team of mathematicians, 
working out what the true odds should be. But in the end, that is, it's as simple as how he said it. That he finds the value by the feeling. It's <laughs> simple as that. I mean, it's quite notable. I mean, the subject of what is value is very debatable. I've seen countless arguments on social media where someone says a price is value at XX, while someone says that, no, it's actually value at YY. I mean, it's, it's, it's all over the place. Because at the end of the day, there is no right answer to what is actually value. It's actually impossible to quantify. You can get a good idea of what is value, but there is no correct answer. There is no correct answer to it. So some might argue that the markets, the football markets especially, they're so efficient, they give away no value. So, I mean, if that is your belief, then, well, we, may, well, we should all just give up. We should all just give up right now. That is definitely not true at all. What you need to do is you need to pick your battles at the end of the day. I mean, the markets are there, especially the bookmakers. They have to produce a market for every single match. They have to produce multiple markets for every single match. And a lot of that is statistics based, based on what they know pregame. But as said, as said before, if you're watching the game live, you can spot some great value opportunities. And I guess I can kind of relate to this in a way because there has been, there has been times when I've been trading and I'm watching the game live and then I see a price that just in that moment looks too good to be true and I know I have to grab it. Something inside me tells that this price tells me that this price should not be what it is and that it is actually offering value. However, it is very hard to explain in words exactly why I feel it's value or even what I think the true price should be. But I believe it comes from experience, not just experience of watching games, but experience of watching the markets at the same time. So then you know when a price is actually good and you know when a price is actually bad at the same time. And clearly Sykoff, as he also said in the interview, has watched tens of thousands of football matches in his lifetime and probably followed tens of thousands of markets at the same time. So in the end, naturally, it's almost your gut instinct is going to tell you, okay, that is a good price. That's a bad price. And you don't even need those fancy spreadsheets or a team of mathematicians working it out for you. And this leads me on to lesson number four, and that is never give up. Now, to us, it seems like Sykov just hit the markets running and became an overnight sensation in the football trading world. I mean, he's been around online sharing his uh sharing his his journey for around 10 years now uh, he's been a, a online for, on various forms of social media during that time he shared photos videos of his profits however in the interview with me he did reveal he literally gave up on football trading at one point he said he lost his trading bank and all his savings at one point mainly due to greed chasing losses and failure in bank management. <laughs> See, now I think we can all relate to that. Football trading, as said, there is a big learning curve to it. And those things there are, are something, it's, it's something that affects us all really in the beginning. Greed, chasing the losses and the failure in bank management. It's, it's probably the number one reason that most newbie football traders actually do go bust. <laughs> do, do, you know, they do go bust and they give up. Some never return ever and they say it, it will never work. But of course, you know, Sykov, he bounced back from that. He became profitable. But I'm sure almost every one of us watching this video has felt like giving up on football trading at some point or another. I've been there myself. And if you've not yet felt that, then you probably haven't been trading long enough. So the key takeaway from this is that blowing banks, chasing losses and other disciplinary pro problems they're all very common, and I would say they're all part of the learning process. I think we all have to blow a bank at one point. We all have to learn the hard way never to do it again. It becomes a problem when you keep doing it over and over again and you don't learn from your mistakes. But if you've recently blown a bank, made a stupid trade that lost you money, then yeah, just keep in mind it's all part of the learning curve. And with trading sports, you do have to learn the hard way. You do have to learn the hard way. But someone like Sykov, he went through this as well. And look, look what, look at the profits <laughs> he is producing now. So lesson number five is always, always be working on your strategy. Now you can't get a strategy, start to profit with it, and then just get lazy. As mentioned before, obviously the more strategies you have, the better. But 
always be working on your strategy. Now, for the first time ever in this interview, Sykoff did give us more details about what his actual strategy is. In his own words, he did say his own trading style evolved in the years from backing the unders to now laying the unders, which is very, very interesting. Now, the key word there is being evolved because obviously at one point when he was trading football, he was backing unders when he saw value. Now, He's laying the unders when he sees value. Now, I, I said, so you, you do need to evolve your strategy and adapt to the market. And this could be because maybe the markets are not as generous to your original method, or it could just be that your own match reading edge has diminished. For example, if you haven't followed a sport as closely as normal in recent months, if, if you've taken a break from whether it's football trading, tennis trading, any sport, and you don't quite know the players as well, then you might have to adapt your strategy uh, in, in that point. It obviously all depends on what your strategy is. He does go on to mention that if he does see value, his main entry points are either laying the leading team or laying under. So there is a lot you can take from that. And, you know, he's never, ever going to give us step by step how to do his exact strategies. But if you view the screenshots on his Twitter account and then you look at how the match played out, then you can start to get a very good idea of the types of trades he makes. And to be honest, laying the leading team or laying unders, these are pretty basic uh, football trading strategies. There's no crazy magic. There's no overthinking and there's no, hmm, hey, back this team, cover this correct score, lay that, <laughs> you know, all, all that sort of madness that I often see. Uh, some some football traders come out with it's pretty simple he's laying the leading team if he thinks that they're probably going to give the lead away and he's laying unders if he thinks there is going to be a goal but obviously the key thing is that he is watching the match to spot these opportunities as they develop so finally I, I would say the key takeaway from this interview is that the, is the fact that Sykov says the way he gets his edge is in watching a live game. So for any newbies, the big, big key takeaway is that really you need to go away and work on reading a football match in order to gain your edge. And this is actually great news. It's actually great news for anyone who's getting started in football trading. It shows that the big results are possible, even if you don't have the fastest pitches, fancy spreadsheets, or even uh, you, you know a very complex strategy. From the sounds of it, Sykov wa watches the game, reads the game, and then operates with very, very simple strategies. So there isn't really a need to overthink it or look for some sort of hidden pattern in, in the statistics. It could be just as simple as just watching the live game and reading whether you think a goal is going to come or not, whether you think the winning team is going to hang on to that lead or not. It, it's it's, it's, it can be as simple as that. And something I encourage all members of my course to do initially is always to trade only the matches you can watch live because this is how you gain the most and, and the best experience of, with football trading. So when you're trading the live games, you're watching the game live and you're watching the markets at the same time. And then what you're really aiming to do when you're using any strategy is you're aiming to improve the strike rate of that strategy. Now you can have a strike rate with a strategy based on the, the, the pre-game statistics, but then that is pretty uh, rigid in that way. Now, as Sykov said, if you can gain more of an edge just by reading the game and improving your strike rate that, that way, then you, well, it will be reflected in your bottom lines and, you, and this is what can push you into the long-term profitability. Make no bones about it, football trading is now a skill game and a skill is just in reading the match better than the average punter. And it's not actually hard to do. If you've ever been in a pub watching a game, you will know that the average punter doesn't really know much. A lot of them are emotionally driven. And a lot of punters, they like to back the winning team when they're leading by one goal. When really, if you're reading the match properly, there could be a lot more value in laying that team at very low odds and so on and so on. I mean, there is no need to overthink this and turn it into a complex mathematical equation. But anyway, it really was a great interview and you can find the link to the full interview in the, the description below. 
Definitely make yourself a cup of tea before you sit and read this one. It really is a very, very good read. And that is just about it for today. Now, remember, if you do have an interest in football trading or any sort of Betfair trading, then definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get all the new videos as and when they come out. On the screen here, you're going to see two other great videos to watch. Check those out and I'll see you in the next video.